Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Robin, the Bibliophile Puzzler. I'm currently working on Country Store at Night, a Machezo puzzle, but I, I'm doing that on the tray, so I thought I would see what's next and I can work on my puzzle tape. Let's see. Of course, I'm doing the Puzzle the Alphabet event, so that's why you see the hashtag Puzzle the Alphabet. And Preceding each puzzle is the letter of the alphabet that corresponds to whichever one I want to do for that particular letter. So let's see. Okay, Winter Games. This is a 1,000 piece. I'm pretty sure it's 1,000 pieces, but it's a white mountain puzzle. I'm kind of looking for it while I'm talking, but I don't see it off the top of my head but I will dig it out um, it's it's out somewhere because I made a video but it's a white mountain puzzle and I will get started on it as soon as I can first of all I'm going to hide the slice okay so this video is being made after I finished the Machezo puzzle which is also Depot Street called Country Store at Night and I switched over to this white mountain puzzle and it's called Winter Games, as you can see here. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I was working on the Machezo puzzle and realized how dark, well, I knew how dark it was. I bought it because I like it. I loved it. I then looked at this puzzle and thought, whoa, there's too much snow. But I'm doing the puzzle, the alphabet event, and I wanted to use this for the letter W. And I did have another puzzle. I think it's Whaler's Bay. I did have another W. And I thought, no, I'm going to do this. So I, I think I've been working on it for a few days because I diamond paint for two, two and a half hours every day. And then, of course, I do my blogging and, you know, cooking, cleaning, whatever. So I sat down to this whenever I had the chance and I found myself extremely challenged. Now, I don't rate puzzles by level of difficulty, but I think in this case, I will. So let's say 10 is the hardest, 1 is the easiest. I would say this ranked about a 7 because of all the snow. Now, if anybody has done this puzzle, let me know. Or have you done a puzzle with a lot of snow? Because I have another one called Hickory Haven Canal, a Charles Waisaki Jigsaw Puzzle. And that has, you know, mostly snow. Probably 60% of the puzzle is snow. So I'm not going to do that this winter. I'll save it for next winter. But let me know if you've ever worked a puzzle with as much snow as this one. And I wanted to mention two things about this puzzle. Number one is it was very loose. And maybe because I was working... Add an angle on my bits and pieces deluxe puzzle swivel easel. I struggle to keep sections together. I, I would touch something and parts of it would fall apart. So there's no way on earth this is going to pass the pickup test. But I struggled with that. And I struggled with maybe three false fits. And as I started eliminating pieces, I was able to quickly find those false fits i couldn't find them in the beginning but i was able to find them when my piece size dwindled down so a couple of false fits very loose fitting but white mountain is one of my favorite brands i loved the challenge and i also love the challenge because of the multitasking that i'm doing and how i'm incorporating diamond painting into my schedule every day so i i kind of I really like this one. So I know already that my next puzzle is what, what my next puzzle is. I'll, I'll save that for the next video. But I do have my next puzzle lined up and I'll get started on it tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and have a pleasant day.